Lee Freelander, an American photographer, is best known for his black and white photographs that capture the American social landscapes, documenting the life of everyday individuals. This type of photography is also known as street photography, using realism to capture the current moment. His work quickly caught the attention of other well-known photographers and museums. In 1994, the Museum of Modern Art, the MoMA, displayed hundreds of photographs of Lee's work, making it the largest acquisition of work of the MoMA during this time. One of his exhibits that was displayed at the MoMA was called Letters from the People. It was compiled of photographs filled with symbols, graffiti, posters, and other messages from cities around the country. Friedlanders also love to make the invisible visible, photographing common old objects that are often overlooked by passerbyers. Here is an image that was shown at the Letters from the People exhibit, which helps make the invisible visible. You can clearly see the statue, which is the center of the photograph, getting lost within the background. And although it is in plain sight, it is overlooked from the amount of familiarity the statue has along with the environment that it is placed in. Despite the large amounts of movement going on in the piece, you can clearly see the rule of odds. This photograph also speaks a lot about our society. This piece of old history is surrounded by skyscrapers and bulletin boards, morphing the past and present together in a cohesive picture. Freelander's work is unique from other photographs. Instead of using props and staging the photograph, Freelander is capturing the moment and using what is around him to create his masterpieces. You can see the constant awareness of his relationship to the picture and to the importance of the subject in the photo. In some photos, you can actually see him take the photo as a shadow or reflection in a mirror or window, something most photographers try to avoid. It evokes feelings in the picture that some might not feel when looking at an ordinary photo. It makes the viewer feel that they were the ones taking the photo as if they were there, which makes the content more relatable. For example, this is a photo that Lee took from his car when driving on Route 9W in New York State in 1969. In the photo, you can see a graveyard with his reflection in the car mirror. By doing this, he was pushing the boundaries of self-portraits and what they look like in the modern day. Instead of having the selfie head on in the image, it was accompanied by different artistic elements, which gave the photo multiple aspects and stories to it. It showed more about the photographer and his travels and some of the creative processes that went through to capture the image. Along with photographing his travels on the road, Friedlander would also photograph the hotel rooms he was staying in, using the television as his focus in a series called The Little Screens. Back in the 60s, TVs were considered a luxury item that only a few could afford. In the series of photographs, you can see the TVs on, illuminating a desolate room. The rooms are often dark as the camera is fixated on the bright screen. From this, the TV cast shadows that are then are captured to accentuate the feelings of the room. Here, you can see sports being played with a lone glass of water next to the maid bed. The content being played on the screens are transmitting images of popular cultural icons, political figures, and celebrities of the time. This piece and others in the little screens provide a look at the 1960s as so many people saw it.